Hi, I'm Ron Moore, executive producer of Outlander, here with an extended sequence from episode 107, The Wedding. This is a section that we kept calling uh, the storytelling sequence. A lot of the stories that you're about to hear Jamie uh, talk about were actually taken verbatim from the book, which makes them kind of fascinating. In the final uh, aired version of the episode, we opted to make this whole section much shorter and turn it basically into a montage. You'll also see at the end of this storytelling sequence, this is where we originally flash back to uh, Claire and Frank getting married in London. In the aired episode, that opened the entire episode because I thought that was a more interesting way to sort of take the audience off guard and start with someplace completely different than the wedding. So this is an interesting sort of look at an alternate version of the show. Enjoy. Tell me about your family. How many generations back? Your parents will do. <laughs> My father uh, was a Fraser. <laughs> of course. A younger half brother, the present master of Lovett. You already know that Colum and Dougal are my uncles. And there are two more sisters besides. And my aunt Janet is dead now. How old were you when your mother died? Eight. A wee barky. I'd had my father to see me grow up. I was always grateful for that. I was five when my parents were killed. How did they die? Car crash. A carriage, um, carriage overturned on the road. It's a freak accident. I don't really like to talk about it. Empty. Ah. How did your parents meet? Ah. Well, it was the the night of the last great gathering. My grandfather was dead by then, and Colum had less patience for my mother's romantic notions. Mm. And he wished her to wed. Malcolm Grant consolidate the two clans. Your mother was not in love with Malcolm Grant. <laughs> love and marriage didn't always go together, Sassenach. Indeed. So. Ellen and Malcolm were sent to the Rose Garden. The first evening of the gathering, everyone waited to see would she take him or no. And it grew dark. And still they waited. And waited. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> Colum began to fear Malcolm had eloped with my mother taken her by force again. Go on, don't stop there. You're a Fraser now, Sassenach. You must learn to tell a story and to listen to one. You must be patient. Go on. Turns out she'd told Malcolm Grant off. <laughs> And he'd headed home as a result. And your mother? Mm. She and my father slipped out of the castle, right under the noses of 300 clansmen. <laughs> and my father loved telling that story. <laughs> he said they met at the gathering, taken one look and decided there could be no other for either one of them. 
So they made their plans that very night and stole away. Married at a moment's notice. Aye. 